Marseille had the chance to join Saint-Étienne in being one point behind fourth place Lyon when they made the long journey northwest to face Nantes. Rudy Garcia's men have lost just once at home, but it's their away form that is holding them back. 2017 has returned two defeats on the road. They couldn't afford a third on the night Patrice ever returned to the start in 11 after injury. After a stirring start to Sergio Conceição's reign, Nantes have stumbled of late. Defeat to Nancy last Sunday was their second defeat in a three-match winless streak. And after their wasted trip to Corsica for their postponed match with Bastia, the Canaries desperate to get back on the pitch. Conceição has taken 13 points as Nantes boss as the team have climbed from 19th to 15th in the table but needed to solve their goal-scoring problems with just 15 and 23 matches. The Canaries have the worst home record with just three victories but started with pace and aggression against OM. Emiliano Sala denied a sixth of the season by Johan Pele. Not weren't to be kept out as Marseille looked like a team that failed to hear the whistle to start the match. The ball finding its way to Guillaume Gillet who outmuscled Rod Fanny. Pele couldn't hold his shot as a skirmash ensued and Diego Carlos was on hand to force home his first goal for the club. Just 12 minutes gone and Nantes in front with just their sixth league goal. A la bourgeois. Marseille were stunned but not out of their slumber. Standing like statues as Marius Stepinski ran rings around them. Five shots on target from Nantes in the first 20 minutes is a season record. Polish international improvising before beating Pele. Well, Garcia responded by withdrawing Remy Cabela and Maxime Lopez for Florent Tovan and André Frank Zambo and Guisa. And yet, if it wasn't for Pele, the game could have been dead and buried at the break. Not rampant, but OM lifeless. The visitors have won only three of their last 19 away from the velodrome. Canaries had already scored more than one in a home match for the first time in 17 matches since a 2-0 win at Angers in March 2016. No doubt Garcia picked a few choice words during the break and they appear to have an effect. Hiroki Sakai's touch across a rare moment of quality for the visitors, allowing Bafet Gomis to half the deficit. The suffering travelling support given hope from their captain's 15th of the season. But just when Marseille might have thought they'd turned a corner, Nantes turned their defence over. Lucas Lima picking out Adrian Thomasson to restore Nantes' two-goal advantage within 60 seconds. Well, the last time the Canaries scored three in any league match was over a year ago. Marseille didn't throw in the towel though, and on the hour it was 3-2. Sakai and Morgan Sanson combining, the latter picking out Gomez to head past Remy Rieu. A 16th of the season equaling his best return but the match ended on a sour note for the 31-year-old as he injured his knee. He's likely to miss three weeks, including week 27's Le Classique against PSG. A double blow for Marseille, who'll be glad to have their next three matches at the Velodrome. Non to find their scoring boots. They've won five of the last eight in Ligue 1, as many in their previous 28. It moves them to 12th for clear of danger.